Welcome to Charlie Rawlings Memorial Gymnasium here on the campus of Elizabethtown High School. We've got a great girls district 17 matchup tonight. A lot on the line as the Lady Panthers of Elizabethtown High School are hosting the Lady Trojans of North Hardin High School. I'm Paul Gray. I'll be bringing you the action tonight and just a little pregame uh, to get you excited for this ball game tonight. It's a big one in the district. We are now in middle of January. It's the dog days in the next two and a half weeks. All of this will be decided as uh, it will heat up with a lot of district matchups here on the girls' side that will determine the seeding for that district tournament late in February. So a lot going on here. The Lady Panthers led by Coach Donnie Sweeney come into this matchup at 6-10. and 10. And the Lady Trojans, led by first-year head coach Vaughn Sison, come in at 10-5. And, five. and uh, those are some kind of shocking numbers. There's a lot that has contributed to that on both sides. For the Lady Trojans, just a fantastic season for Coach Isom getting started, getting out of the gate. I can tell you personally, he has coached one of my daughters in middle school basketball and AU basketball. And Coach Isom is a phenomenal coach. He does a great job, but he's getting great senior leadership from his uh, uh, two main seniors. Des Bryant, who's averaging 16 points and six rebounds, has been phenomenal. She's shown incredible heart and determination this year. I'm sure that's something that will continue uh, to, uh, throughout this season. And her leadership will mean a lot as they get into the uh, late part of the season and where it really, really counts. Uh, the other senior, Ella Shearer. So let me give Ella Shearer some props tonight as we get started. Miss Ella's averaging 10 points and two rebounds a game. And uh, Ella, again, offering great senior leadership, but she offers great shooting. And she scored at Brett County just a couple nights ago, her 1,000th point. So congratulations to Ella Shearer on her phenomenal career as a North Harden Lady Trojan basketball player. Most of you know that Ella is one of the top two or three players in the region in golf as well and uh, has earned a Division I scholarship to Murray State University to play golf there. And so Ella has uh, been so successful. We're so proud of her and what she's done. And again, that 1,000th point, what a big accomplishment for any high school basketball player. It just shows longevity. It shows some consistency, and for her, it shows great shooting. Um, so just uh, uh, congratulations to Ella and all that she's done, uh, not just athletically but also academically. She's a great kid, so very proud of her. Uh, you've also got to mention Coach Isom wouldn't be having this great breakout first season if it weren't for number 20, Peyton Isom. So uh, Vaughn's has uh, benefited from the uh, great coaching he's done not just this year, but over the years, in helping to develop his daughter Peyton and what she has become in an all-around playmaker, scorer. Uh, she has uh, really developed this year. She's been a great scorer for several years, but she's really doing a great job making decisions, driving and dishing. Uh, she's become a true point guard who also scores the basketball. Leading this team, again, with 18 points a game, uh, is Peyton Ison. So those two are keys for this squad. Uh, now, let's go over to the Lady Panther side, and this is an interesting, they are six and 10 at this point in the season. And um, boy, things have just not gone, I, you know, I gotta tell you still, if they're at full strength, I'm still a believer. I mean, they showed me last year in that district tournament and in that region tournament, what they're really made of and what they can do, how good they can be. And I'm still a believer in this Lady Panther squad they are not showing it, however, right now. Six and ten uh, as we come back from Christmas break. They've had a couple of tough losses, uh, one to Hart County, but uh, probably the biggest and toughest loss right now is Sarah Clark. Sarah Clark, again, is a 16 and 10 double-double average on the season, 16 points, 10 rebounds a game, and she has always shown up big in big games. Uh, right now, she is not available. That Hart County loss was without her. What kind of team can this be without their inside presence, without their rebounder, without their score? Uh, Sarah Clark's been the top three-point shooter in this area last year and one of the top three-point shooters in the area this year. And so this is a massive loss 
for this E-Town squad. Now, it may be a week, two weeks. I think right now there's not a lot known. I don't know anything, <laughs> but uh, I'm not sure that Coach Sweeney and the rest of the staff knows exactly where she is. She's had some tests to see what's going on with that. They lost a, uh, a really tough game to West Jessman when she was injured about a week ago, uh, and that was – uh, again, when the injury occurred, they lost by one point in that ball game. Certainly that had an impact. And so we've got to see tonight in this huge district matchup, um, where is the scoring, where is the leadership, where is all that going to come from? Kristen Ritchie, who's a very good post player, uh, the sophomore is uh, still in a knee sleeve. She's coming off a, a knee uh, injury last year that cost her her season and really she has not seen a lot of action. I've seen her limping on the floor. She's just still recovering from that last year and trying to get back to where she can play at full strength. She has not been able to yet. I have not seen that from her, but she is a very good young post player. She doesn't have the outside game that Sarah Clark has, but she is a very physical, very tough player in the interior. We'll see if she can play any part in uh, helping this Lady Panther squad. But let's talk about the district right now. We're getting ready to have the uh, the anthem and the uh, um, the uh, announcement of the starting lineups, but I'll keep talking until we uh, get that going. So in the district right now, just to give you an idea, North Harden clearly out in front. They are 3-0 and right now in the district, trailed by E-Town at 2-2 two and two, and John Harden at 1-1. One and one. John Harden's got a lot of district games to play coming up. Central Harden 1-2 and two, and Fort Knox 1-2. And so um, it is kind of still up in the air. Five and three could win the district, but more than likely if E-Town loses the game tonight and has three losses, they're probably, for all intents and purposes, eliminated. North Harden would go to 4-0 and oh if they can win this ball game tonight. And uh, the chances of them losing three uh, down the stretch here uh, are slim. And so E-Town is kind of fighting for their life tonight as far as can they earn – the top seed in the district, they've got to win, and they've got to start winning right now. And so uh, this is going to be a big night for this E-Town squad down Sarah Clark. We'll see what Coach Sweeney's plan is to try to handle this 3-0 uh, and in district. North Harden, Team 10-5 and overall. They just lost by two to a really good Brett County squad a couple nights ago. So uh, this is a very talented, very strong North Harden team. Uh, we are about to uh, get the playing of the anthem. I'm going to step away for just a moment. We'll come back for the starting lineups. For girls high school basketball action. Tonight's game features the North Harden High School Lady Trojans and New Orleans Town High School Lady Panthers. At this time, would you please rise, kind of remove your hats, as we honor America and those who protect it and our freedoms with the presentation of our national anthem. The anthem will be presented by the Elizabeth Town High School Pep Band.
big thank you to the E-Town High School Pet Band for playing the national anthem this evening. And we are getting the starting lineups for the Lady Trojans. Number two, Alana DeBose, who's been a revelation for this squad this year. The freshman moved in and has been fantastic, continues to grow and get better. Peyton Isom, number 11, Des Bryant, number 15, Ella Shear. And then the other freshman, number 24, Destiny Scott, the post player, almost six feet tall and fantastic inside. What a great athlete and great player. Soft touch around the rim. She is figuring it out, but when she does, this is going to be a – Bad news for the rest of this district because she can really play it on both ends of the floor. For the Lady Panthers, number two, Janice Armstrong. The Can Sisters, number three, Brooklyn Can. Number 12, Ashlyn Can to start it off for the Lady Panthers. Number 23, Brooklyn Brown. And number 42, Harper Gregory. So this Lady Panthers squad here ready to go where is that extra scoring going to come from how are they going to make up for that loss i don't know that you can but certainly i'm looking at janice armstrong her taking care of the basketball running the offense pushing the ball up the floor being strong getting to the rim those are things she has to do to make this thing um possibility for the lady panthers So it'll be Harper Gregory jumping against Destiny Scott. You can see the size difference there. Destiny Scott, how tall she is. She taps it to Des Bryant, goes to Peyton Isom in the corner. She'll look for Scott inside. Scott can't handle that one. She's got to have stronger hands there. It's Janice Armstrong with it, gets it to Brown. Gregory at the free throw line, just off the mark, rebound Des Bryant. They have not been a good rebounding team. If they can rebound, they are going to be golden. Scott in the lane fighting for the ball. Double team by Gregory and uh, Brooklyn Brown. It's back out front. Good job by Destin Scott to hang on to it in there. Peyton Isom setting up against the 2 3 zone. Lady Panthers, Janice Armstrong extending that zone way out to guard. Isom sheer open for three just off the mark. A little long. Good box out by Can, but she could not come up with the ball. And will go out of bounds back to the Lady Trojans. DeBose will trigger the inbound pass. Alana, number two, gets it to Isom out front. She'll let that three-pointer fire off the mark, way off the mark. Brooklyn Can with the rebound. She's got to have her feet set. Can a little strong on that one. The ball's knocked out of bounds. It'll go back to the Lady Trojans. DeBose will handle the ball up the floor. Again, it's no pressure. Uh, this looks a little different. This is not a 2-3 right here. Heavy contact. They're going to call the foul on Brooklyn Brown, her first team's first. It was Des Bryant driving across. It was a crash. I think Coach Sweeney was hoping for a travel call, but I think that was caused. Oh, Isom wide open. She's got a feet set that time, and that one's easy money for Peyton Isom. Three-point basket. 3-0 Lady Trojans here in the early going. Brown's going to drive. Look in the corner. Can open. She'll let that three fly just off the mark. It's Des Bryant with another rebound. She's pushing the pace. She's one on two. Trying to find Alana DeBose. Errant pass stolen. Brooklyn Brown. And she'll get it to the point guard, Janice Armstrong. Janice, number two on number two. She drives and dishes. But Isom's all over Brooklyn. Can. Ooh, they're going to say Isom batted it out of bounds from behind as Brooklyn tried to get it to Ashland. Brooklyn can out top, gets to Brooklyn Brown. Harper Gregory posting on Destiny Scott. Just a big height disadvantage and athleticism disadvantage. They need to use her out on the floor. Harper Gregory's very good driving the basketball. And probably could take advantage of that. Brooklyn Brown driving. She's in the lane. Short runner off the mark. It's loose. They're going to call a foul. Didn't see it. Where was it? They're going to call Lana DeBose for her first foul. Team's first. So the Lady Panthers will have the ball. They're down three to nothing. 5.56 to go here in the first quarter. 
Oh, man, Gregory made a nice cut. Oh, just couldn't handle the pass. Ice and pushing off. Oh, nice dish to Des Bryant. She's going to travel. Good defense there. And I think that's a third turnover already for the Lady Trojans. They've got to take care of the basketball on the offensive end. Right now, though, the question is where do the Panthers get offense from? Sarah Clark not only gives them offense, but creates offense for other people as she draws the defense. There's Brooklyn Can. She's got to shoot that. She does. And it's good, Brooklyn Can. If she's open and has a three-point look, she's got to pull the trigger on that. Isom's going to shoot another block by Brooklyn Brown. Rebound, Brooklyn Can. Ahead to Ashland. Pass in the lane to Harper Gregory. Off, oh, push on Brooklyn Brown. She had a hand in the back. It's her second already. Brooklyn Brown has a tendency to get into foul trouble. But she pushed Alana DuBose as she was going for the rebound. Good pass in the lane to Harper Gregory, and Gregory couldn't finish it. She's very good on those. She's left-handed going on that left side. Pressure out front. Trying to get it inside. It's going to stay here with the Trojans. You're trying to go to Destiny Scott. That's a really good idea. It's going to be tough against the zone to find Destiny Scott. If they go to a man look and she's manned up, it'll be easy to get her the ball inside. She's got to find spots in that zone where she can find space. Bryant cross court to DeBose. Isom wants another three just off the mark. She's fired up a bunch of those already, and Gregory's got a rebound. It's going the other way. Armstrong pulls up. Can out top. Brown has got two fouls. Armstrong for three on the way off the mark. Destiny Scott rebound. She's got to become the rebounder for this squad. There's one for her. Dubose down on the baseline. She'll dribble out. Scott just outside free. Sheer three. Oh, back, run, back rim. Close. They're going to say it was off of Isom as Isom and Ashland can fought for the rebound. But Sheer left open. Man, that thing was dead on line. Just hit back iron and came out. 3-3 three to three is the score here with 4.28 to go. A little slow start for both these teams on the offensive end. Both teams known to play really good defense. Knocked loose, but Gregory does a good job to hang on and get it to Armstrong. Cross court to Brown. She saves it, but it's Isom coming up with it. She'll start the break. Oh, nice Euro off the glass. Peyton Isom has got five early points. Wow, that was pretty. Armstrong back quickly down the lane off the glass and in, so she'll match to make it five all. That's what I said before the game. She's got to drive the ball and use her strength. She is a strong basketball player. Oh, Shears open for three. That's on the way. Well, long. Off to a slow start is Shear. She's been shooting the ball really well lately from three. Lady Panthers a little fortunate early to not get those. A oh, rebound to Brooklyn. Can off the mark. Des Bryant has the rebound. And uh, Coach Isom is going to call a timeout. It's 5-5. Five to five. It's a 30-second timeout. This is Hardin County Education Community Television Student Production. Uh, HCC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel 1 program is sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunications needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results with locations in Elizabethtown, Hodgenville, Radcliffe, and South Louisville. Online at physicaltherapyky.com. Mark Harris Construction. Etownapartments.com. Take a virtual tour today at etownapartments.com. For those who are serving our country in the military, a discount is available. Etown Apartments is a family-owned and operated management service with over 30 years of combined experience. Five to five, 328 to go here in the first uh, uh, defensive battle at this point, which is really what these Lady Panthers need. They've got to... They've been fortunate that Shear and Isom have missed some threes here in the first period. If those start to go, this thing will get away. Uh, but the uh, Lady Panthers have to defend, which is why Brooklyn Brown's still on the floor with two fouls. Isom left open, knocked to the floor. She'll get three free throws as Brown has just committed her third. Got to know where you are, and uh, Brooklyn did not understand that she's got to play a little differently with two fouls, and now she's got three. And we probably won't see Brooklyn Brown for the rest of this half, I would suspect. And there's Peyton Ison knocking down the first. It's going to be Ramiah Murphy coming, excuse me, Renaya Murphy coming in. 
And they're going to have to bring the sub in now as Brooklyn Brown will check out. Renaya Murphy will check in. Three team fouls for the Lady Panthers, one for the Lady Trojans, and um, Ison looking to make three in a row here. A little long. Brooklyn Can comes away with a rebound. She's got four rebounds already. That's where the rebound is going to come from, it appears. Cross court to Ashland Can. Get it to Janice Armstrong. There's Harper Gregory on the baseline. Ashland Can doubled. Oh, she gets it somehow. Oh, Janice, a dime to Harper Gregory. Wow, that was beautiful. She, Ashland Can got it to her somehow. And Janice Armstrong. Oh, there's a dime on the other end. Inside, Scott couldn't get it, but she's got her own rebound. Fouled that time. It's Murphy fouling. So, Peyton Isom, great pass inside. Scott missed the first attempt, got her rebound, and we'll get to the line. Makes the first beautiful looking shot. Second one's good as well, so Destin Scott's got two to go with her two rebounds here in the first. 9-7, Lady Trojans, 2.41 to go in the first period. 9-7, it's a tight one. Lady Panthers have it here. Got to find Harper Gregory like they did on that last possession. A little more, way off the mark is Denise Armstrong. Ashlyn Cann's got it. Gets it to Brooklyn for the runner, a little strong. Bryant's got the rebound. Three on the way, Shear, it's off the mark. DuBose has the rebound. It's a turnover there. Shear had it inside. There's Armstrong being really physical with Peyton Ice and she'll go to Brooklyn Can. 9-7 still. Neither team scoring on those last possessions. Renaya Murphy gonna drive on Bryant, knocked away. It's gonna stay with the Lady Panthers. Des Bryant will check out. Number 12, Nevaeh Raphael will check in. Again, one of those who can defend, who can offer good rebounding and points in transition, Nevaeh Raphael. Lady Panthers not getting anything to get it to Can. Wanting to hand off to Armstrong, but it goes on the line. There was no room for the handoff right there where they were. Turnover back to the Lady Trojans. Peyton Ice, I'm looking over to Coach to see, and uh, he's waiting to see what defensive look. He's called out Clemson against this 2-3 zone look. Brooklyn Can's going to extend all the way up and guard uh, DeBose now. Raphael, quick ball, but great against the zone. They get it. Oh, Scott had a chance, couldn't handle it. DeBose in the lane, gets about a five-footer off the glass. Alana DeBose first bucket, so good job. Murphy, pump fake, going on Raphael off the glass, nowhere near it. Nevaeh Raphael with the rebound, going the other way. Gets it to Peyton Isom. She's guarded by Can. now guarded by, she wanted to get to the rim and gets the bucket and the foul. I think the foul's on Armstrong. Yeah, Janice Armstrong, her first foul. Team's fifth. Nye Murphy will check out. Emerson Gregory will check in. So both Gregory girls on the floor now. Destiny Barnes has checked in. Destiny Scott has checked out. Ice knocked down the bucket, trying to complete the three-point play. Can't. There's Barnes with a rebound, trying to go up with it. She got in there. They're going to call a foul on, I believe, Emerson Gregory, 25. So she checks in her first foul, team sixth foul. Oh, Bryant open for three in a corner off the mark. Ashlyn Can has the rebound. So Des Bryant has yet to get on the board, kind of off to a slow start here. She can turn it on at any moment. Brooklyn Can on the left wing, working back to the top. Oh, she's just outside the free throw line, loves that shot. Pump fake, bucket for Brooklyn Can. She's got five points, 13-9 now. 
as they cut into the lead. Rebound Emerson Gregory going the other way now. So both Gregory girls, both youngsters, but both thrust into this situation with Sarah Clark out. One on three, gets it to Harper Gregory. Man, that's a great drive. Janice Armstrong, double, triple team, so strong. Dumps off, and uh, it's Harper Gregory, her second bucket. Harper Gregory with the steal. She's on the break. Knocked loose by Des Bryant. Great defensive play. No time left. That was the end of the quarter. Yeah, the, Coach Sweeney wants some time put back on. They're going to put .5 back on the clock. And uh, so the quarter is not over yet. The Lady Panthers will have possession with .5 seconds. Point five. They've got time to just catch and basically tip. Ball has to go up immediately. They got to go to Brooklyn Kent. She's open, unguarded, and that's off the mark. Wow, they got a good look. Lady Trojans fell asleep right there and got away with it. So after one, again, a great contest here. The Lady Panthers, so much fight. Uh, we knew they'd be scrappy tonight, even without Sarah Clark. Uh, that was my pre-game conversation with one of the North Harden faithful is, listen, this team even without Sarah Clark will be super scrappy. And that's what we've seen. 13-11, Lady Trojans in front by two. Waddell's Auto and Scrap Metal Recycling, a family-owned business with competitive prices, pickup service, and friendly staff available for your recycling needs. Located in Elizabethtown on 31W, just south of exit 91 on Interstate 65. Call 270-982-7206 to talk to someone about scrapping metal and recycling. E-Town Exterminating is a locally owned family-run pest control company and has been serving hardened meat, Grayson, and Nelson counties in the surrounding areas of Kentucky since 1976. Whatever your pest control issues are, termites, spiders, crickets, general pests, even moles, their team has the knowledge, skill, and training to safely and effectively eliminate the problem. Call 270-737-6900 or go online at mugabug.com. So in the first quarter, Brooklyn can five points. Harper Gregory for Janice Armstrong, two for the Lady Trojans. It's been all paid nice, and uh, she's got nine in the first quarter. Uh, Destiny Scott with two and Alana DeBose with two. So good matchup through one period. Harper Gregory in the high post turns to face. Working on Destiny Barnes. Good backdoor pass to Emerson, tipped away by Destiny Scott. Again, she is long, uh, long armed, and that thing had no chance of getting over her to Emerson Gregory. Peyton Isom going to get her first rest as they check Ella Shearer back in. Ashlyn Cannes got it. She'll get it to Janice Armstrong. Man-to-man -man defensive look here. Des Bryant guarding Armstrong. They've switched now, and it's Raphael on her. Brooklyn can once that three, way off the mark. Just way strong. Des Bryant with her fifth rebound of the game. They're going to call her for uh, turning the ball over. Again, high dribble. Lost control of the dribble and uh, carried the ball. Seen some of these three-point shots a little strong on both sides where I think there's a lot of, you can call it nervous energy or adrenaline flowing. Nice handoff there. Brooklyn can gets it to Ashland in the corner. Ashland driving. Harper Gregory pump fake drive. Gets down the lane. It's blocked by Barnes. Barnes will come up with the loose ball as well. They're glad to have her back off of injury. She's missed several games. Des Bryant's going to drive now, looking to make a pocket pass. She gets it to Raphael. Shear open from outside. Bucket, Ella Shear. There it is. Slow start for Shear, but she knocks one down. As soon as the seal comes off the basket for her, she's likely to make two or three more in a row. Can had an open look and just waited too long. Bryant was able to recover. Armstrong back to Can on the right wing. She's working a two-person game. Emerson Gregory, Scott guarding. Nice move by Gregory inside. Can't get it. Her sister's got the rebound. Another rebound blocked again. They're going to call a foul. It did not look like a foul. It's both destinies.
We say number one is the person who committed the foul. Who committed the foul? There's no number one. Who is that foul on? Fouls on for Destiny Barnes, her first, team second. And Harper Gregory gets the first to bounce around and go in. She's got five points. Sixteen to twelve. Lady Trojans in front. Gregory with a second coming. And she knocks down the second, so. And now we see Kristen Ritchie, 22, checking in. 25, Emerson Gregory checking out. Gave them good minutes. So Harper Gregory's got six to lead her team in scoring right now. Cross court almost taken there. Scott now up top, moving it quickly. Ice him open from the corner, just off the mark. Ashlyn can with the rebound. Denise Armstrong double team gets it to Can. Gregory three in the corner. Good Harper Gregory. She has heated up. That is where that scoring can come from. She tried to get the steal. Now it's Bryant on the drive. They're going to call a foul on Brooklyn Can which will send Des Bryant to the line to shoot a pair. That's Can's first, team's seventh. So that means the Lady Trojans will be in the bonus now, but this is a two-shot foul. Des Bryant will go to the line. Bryant will knock down the first. That's her first point of the night. Second one a little long. Good box out by Ashlyn Can to get that rebound. She's got four rebounds on the ball game. That's what she can give. Oh, Armstrong picked it up. She's going to throw it off Isom's leg. Smart move by Janice Armstrong. Harper Gregory will inbound. With Lady Panthers in his Brooklyn can that will set it up. Man, the man defensive look here. Knocked away by Ella Shear. Wow, she got in that passing lane on the long pass from Brooklyn to Ashland Can. It's a 17-16 ball game. Lady Trojans still in front. But that three-point three point shot by Gregory and the two free throws has got them right back in this thing, and it's tight. Driving on ice and just a little bigger and stronger, and she's going to keep going there. She's got space to work. Goes back to that left hand off the glass. No good. Scott with the rebound. Scott's got it. She'll go ahead and work up the floor with it. Gets it to DeBose. Isom open three on the way. Got it, Peyton Isom. Man. It's called volume shooting, and she's going to make a bunch of them when she gets that many good looks. Oh, Kristen Ritchie all by herself. They lost her. Uh, the, in the change with Richie checking in, they may not have known she was on the floor. Oh, nice look from Bryant to Scott. There's a bucket. Desi Scott's got four. So Des really facilitating. When she drives, she's looking to dump off to one of her teammates, whether that's Scott or Barnes or even Nevaeh Raphael. They're going to say it was out of bounds off of Des Bryant. Harper Gregory may be a little tired. She's going to check out. Renaya Murphy will check back in. But Harper Gregory's done a great job keeping this team in this ball game. It's 22-18 right now with 4.50 to go. Richie's got a handoff to Armstrong. She's got Scott on her, and Scott's a great athlete, can probably handle that. They're going to switch back, though. Great defense by Dez. Janice making a good move. Wow, that was strong. Janice Armstrong, second bucket. She's got four. Great defense, but nothing you can do against great offense. Oh, Scott couldn't get it to go. Brooklyn Cam with her fifth rebound of the ball game. Gets it to, oh, Kristen Ritchie over and back. She caught it in the front court, threw it back to the back court. Just needs to slow down. Coach Sweeney not happy with, it, not happy with that. 22-20, Lady Trojans in front. Scrappy performance from this Lady Panther squad. Ashland Can's been on the floor, I believe, and Brooklyn Can maybe the whole game along with Janice Armstrong. They've rotated the others. Brooklyn Brown got three fouls. Raphael has checked in the game. Nevaeh 
Ice him for three again, way off the mark that time. Murphy's got the rebound, Renaya Murphy ahead to Armstrong, double teamed out top by DuBose and Raphael. She gets by all of them through the entire defense. They're going to call a charge. Uh, I'm not sure if the uh, officials got together on that one, really. It's number two is Janice Armstrong. If there is a charge called, it's two. Armstrong's got her second foul. And Coach Sweeney saw that the two referees disagreed. One had a block and one had a charge. He's trying to get the other official to uh, say, yeah, I had a block, but he's not going to go against his uh, partner there. Raphael standing in the lane. Uh, she's going to get out of the lane finally. He'll call a foul. Kristen Ritchie, good move by Destiny Scott. Again, as she continues to get stronger, she's going to be hard to handle. The foul should have been on Kristen Ritchie. They've called it on Ashland Can. Uh, Scott knocks down the first. Again, you've seen how Destiny Scott needs to continue to develop stronger hands, being able to catch in the post. But look at that shot, just beautiful. A little off the mark on that one. Three for four from the line tonight. She's got a great shot, great moves inside for such a youngster. She'll just continue to develop and get better. Can gets it to Armstrong. Murphy working the high post. They hadn't found her yet. It's a 1-2-2 two, two trapping zone. They've come out of the man look. Ashland Can will fire the three. That's way off the mark. Brooklyn Can trying to run it down. Armstrong, Richie, and Scott crash into each other. I'm not sure what the call could possibly be here. They're going to call Destiny Scott for the foul. It's her first. Team's fourth, I believe. Team's third, that is. Sorry. They're going to have Destiny Scott come out. She was uh, shaken up on that collision. Can open in the corner way off the mark. Wow, we've seen a lot of very long misses. Isom's got it, though. Bryant all the way this time. Floater in the lane, Des Bryant. She's got three. Her first bucket of the night. 25-20, Lady Trojans in front. Back to a man look, I think. Yes, back to a man look. They were trying to find who they were guarding in the man look. Nope, it's a 1-2-2 two, two look, even though two people are on the same side of the floor. A little bit discombobulated there. Nevaeh Raphael in transition. They'll call a foul on Brooklyn Can. I think they'll get this one right. Yep, Brooklyn can her second. It's a team ten, team's tenth foul. Two forty-three to go, and it's twenty-five twenty. Raphael at the line, off the mark on the first. Again, she's really good in transition. She'll get out and run and get out in front of the pack. Couldn't quite finish that one. We'll get one more free throw here. Armstrong has left the floor and heading to the locker room. So that one didn't hit anything for Raphael. Rebound to Kristen Ritchie. Coming back up the floor the other way. Ritchie working inside. It's a 1-2-2 two, two or maybe a 3-2. I'm not sure what you want to call that zone that Coach Isom is playing. Great look. Sheer one dribble. Shot away just off the mark. Ritchie, another rebound. That's what Kristen Ritchie can give him. Can give him a ton of rebounding inside. Ooh. Renaya Murphy slipped. They're going to call a charge on Murphy. Wow, she had a nice Euro step going there. I think she was going to get to the basket. But um, Ashley Can checks out, and uh, Emerson Gregory will check in. Murphy limping off. Two eighteen to go, 25-20. Again, Murphy was called for the foul. She, I, there may be some water from that earlier collision, some, some perspiration on the floor. She slipped. Her foot completely went out from underneath her there. DuBose back to Isom. Great move inside by Bryant. Can't get it. Look at the hops from Nevaeh Raphael. They're going to call a jump ball. It's going to stay with the Lady Trojans. As Raphael tried to get uh, the rebound there and was tied up.
2-3 zone look. Maybe it's a man look. Oh, left open. Shear off the mark. Can't get those to go with any consistency tonight. It's been a little bit of a struggle there for Ella. There's Emerson Gregory. Low dribble in the lane. Got it in the block on Isom. So Emerson Gregory gets her first bucket. Isom's first foul. Team's fourth. Gregory will go to the line, so that'll make it 25-22 with a chance to cut the lead to two here. Emerson off the mark, over the line, a violation, but couldn't get that one to go anyway. Number 33 for Elizabethtown has checked in. Caroline McCurry, Caroline on the floor as well here now. She gives a little bit of size. Looked really good in the uh, JV contest earlier tonight. Bryant down the lane with the left hand, can't get it to go. Harper Gregory gets it to Emerson Gregory. She's pushing it up the floor. 122 to go, 25-22 is the score. Mabry Cochran has also checked in. Wow, you got a lot of the youngsters on the floor for this E-Town squad. DeBose takes the pass, and it's off the mark. Can't get it to go. It'll, ooh, it's going to go back to the Lady Panthers. I wasn't sure about that. But number 10, maybe Cochran in. Caroline McCurry has checked in. A lot of the JVs getting looks tonight with Sarah out of the game. Sarah Clark with an knee injury a couple games ago. Still unsure about her status. There's Gregory all the way. Charge on Harper Gregory as Dez Bryant was completely set. Beautiful job by Dez to uh, take that charge. That's Harper's first. Team's 11th, 11th or 12th, man. A lot of team fouls as they're struggling to keep up with the speed and pace of this Lady Trojan squad, but it's 25-22. Isom has it, 2-3 zone extended for the Lady Panthers, doing a good job. Oh, cross court, sheer open for three. Couldn't get it to go. Boy, Ella again just struggling tonight to find the basket. One make in seven or eight attempts. There's Can. She'll let it fly. That's off the mark. Mabry Cochran's got it just a little short. Isom has the rebound. Going the other way quickly. 22 seconds to go. Looking to get the pass to Nevaeh Raphael to go back to the Lady Panthers with a three-point difference here. Ashlyn Can going to check back in. Caroline McCurry will check out. Holding for last, under 10 seconds. Cochran's got it going to Emerson Gregory. She should look outside Brooklyn Can, but a great move in the post, but can't finish. Bryant's got it with two seconds. Lady Panthers have it. Cochran lets it fly off the mark. So Bryant had the rebound and it just got away from her. So after two quarters, after half of the action, we've got a great ball game here. 25-22, Lady Trojans in front. We'll be back in 10 minutes for first half stats and second half action. I'm Paul Gray and we'll see you in 10. Hi, I'm Jarrett Cox with HCEC TV, and today we're here with one of our great sponsors, West Point Bank, and to tell you a little more about it, we have Shelly Brackett, Assistant Vice President. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. Right. So, West Point Bank has had a long relationship with HCEC TV. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the history of West Point Bank? Yes, yeah, so West Point Bank is locally owned and operated. Um, the um, holding company purchased us about 36 years ago. Uh, we started in a little bank in West Point, uh, Kentucky, and we've grown to five branches. So, so uh, the five branches, if somebody wants to visit one of your branches, where are they at? So we um, have our branch in Radcliffe. We also have our branch in Elizabethtown. And we also service uh, Glendale and of course, I already said West Point and Upton. So. so what services are offered at West Point Bank? So we're a full service bank. Uh, we do all kinds of loans, commercial, uh, consumer, um, 
and now secondary market loans. Um, you know, we have your, your free checking accounts, um, your business checking. So pretty much everything everyone else has to offer, but with good customer service. <laughs> <laughs> and good customer service from right here at home is always important. Yes, very important. So, so. you mentioned the secondary market program. Uh, uh -huh. Can you inform me on what that is? Yes, yeah, so our secondary market program is something that West Point Bank has just recently got into. Um, previously, we didn't sell our loans to investors. Uh, we kept them all in-house and serviced uh, the loans ourselves. So now um, we have the opportunity to sell our loans to investors, and that way we could offer uh, lower interest rates, uh, fixed 30-year uh, products, and also lower down payments with the different programs that they offer. So, and, and that's very important, especially with everything going on right now. Right. <laughs> so, you know, as I've said, you know, West Point Bank has had a long relationship with HCECTP, and uh, I know before we started, you told me that your sisters played sports in high school, and your nieces play now. How does it feel to see your uh, see your nieces on TV? It, it is really great. It's a great opportunity, um, you know, for you know, the parent or the grandparent that may have to miss or not be able to be there for, you know, other obligations to actually get to watch their child play or their, you know, grandchild. So I, I just think it's, you know, it's just came full circle, you know, uh, from just being in high school and watching how this whole program has developed to being out of school for 20 years and being here. <laughs> Um, you know, it's 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 an awesome you know experience. So yeah, and it's so <laughs> so funny. Uh, one of the first times that I got recognized for my work here was doing one of these sponsor interviews, and I got a text from someone you know at the college who told me, "I did I see you on TV." <laughs> <laughs> right, I get that a lot. Um, I saw you on TV during the commercial. Or, <laughs> so I mean, it is it's it's great. Um, you know, we're we're in this community. We live here. We work here. We play here. You know, it's it's great to give back to the community and to be involved. And we really appreciate your generosity in giving back to us because without your help, we would not be able to provide the live sports coverage that we do. Right. So we are, we're, you know, very appreciative and, and thankful for, you know, you all doing your hard work as well. And it's just a great opportunity for both of us. Well, thank you very much for your support. Thank you for coming on and talking about your great bank, you know, locally owned, locally operated five branches right here in Hardin County. Now let's get back to some live sports action. Welcome back to Charlie Rawlings Memorial Gymnasium here on the campus of Elizabethtown High School. We got a great game going here. District 17 action. Lady Trojans in front right now, 25-22 over the Lady Panthers. Uh, of Elizabethtown. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. I'm watching my daughter Katie Gray and the Central Harden team on my phone. They're playing Breck right now. I believe they're up 21-10 in the second quarter here. Uh, a little update from uh, Hardensburg. So right here, however, we've got a really important District 17 ball game going. And right now it's the Lady Trojans in front. Let me give you some scoring. Janice Armstrong for the Lady Panthers with four. Brooklyn Can with five. Both of them scored all that in the first quarter, nothing in the second quarter. It's Harper Gregory with nine. A lot of that coming in the second quarter, so she kind of kept them in this thing in the second quarter. Christian Ritchie, two. Emerson Gregory, two as well for the Lady Trojans. Peyton Isom, 14 first half points. Des Bryant, three. Ella Shearer, three. Destiny Scott, five. And Lana DeBose, two. And um, rebounding is pretty even right now. So without Sarah Clark, that rebounding advantage you'd expect this Lady Panther squad to have not does not really exist as Barnes, Scott, and Bryant are able to do uh, the damage on the glass. Des Bryant with six rebounds. Destiny Scott with three to lead the Lady Trojans. As Brooklyn Can with five rebounds. Ashland Can with four. Uh, so they're kind of picking up the slack on the glass right now for this squad. So for the Lady Trojans, it'll be Destiny Barnes, Alana DuBose, Des Bryant, Ella Shear, and Peyton Isom to start off the second half. I can really tell Ashlyn Can who starts every game but doesn't play 
but maybe half the game. She was tired. She played most of that first half. She and her sister Brooklyn can will start. Brooklyn Brown with three fouls in the first quarter is back on the floor. Harper Gregory and Janice Armstrong round out the starting five for this Lady Panthers squad. Armstrong will get the inbounds, and we're underway here in the second half. There's Can. Oh, she had a look, passed it up. It's a man-to-man -man defensive look from these Lady Trojans. Harper Gregory pump fake around Barnes. Floater on the line, couldn't get it on baseline. Gets her own rebound, can't get it to go. Still being fought for, it's gonna stay here. So uh, Harper Gregory had a couple good opportunities. Just started off right there, couldn't get them to go. They all both looked good and just did not get the roll. Man, look, it's Bryant guarding Can right now. Destiny Barnes picks up the job of guarding Harper Gregory. Ashlyn Can driving, finds Gregory open for three. Bucket, Harper Gregory, tie ball game. She's got 12 points. Quickly back, DuBose couldn't get it, but there's Destiny Barnes with the rebound. Ooh, Bryant lost control of it. One-on-one -on -one here, Armstrong going up on Ooh, great play by Peyton Isom. She gets the block shot and bats it back, and it's caught by Janice Armstrong as she stepped out of bounds. So Armstrong couldn't win that one-on-one -on -one against Peyton Isom. In the corner, Shearer's open. She passes it up. Bryant loses it again twice in two trips here, 25-25. Brooklyn Brown came away with the loose ball. Armstrong going to drive again. Gregory in the corner. Got another one. Oh, boy. She has heated up. Heated up. Out of bounds, but it'll stay with the Lady Trojans. They get it into Ison. It's 27-25. Now Lady Panthers with a lead and a third turnover here as Armstrong comes up with a loose ball. Bryant trying to get it. Nice little crossover from Armstrong. Nifty ball handling move. Gregory trying to do a little pick and roll, but Armstrong looks to hand off. Stolen by uh, Barnes, gets it to DuBose. That was kind of lucky. DuBose goes up, can't get it to go, and she'll go to the line to shoot two as Armstrong is called for the foul. That's her third. That would be devastating for this team. So the Lady Bruins over in Brett County up 23-14 at the half. Just a little update from that ball game. DeBose at the line here. She'll have a pair. In and out, wow. That hit the inside of the rim twice. Des Bryant will check out a little bit. Moving a little fast and not unable to hang, hang, uh, hang on to the ball here early in this second half. Coach Isom's got some words calming her down, get her back into the flow of the game. DuBose off the mark on that. Wow, Destiny Scott with the rebound. They're going to call Ashlyn Can for the foul. She was trying to rip the ball away and had a hold of Scott's arm. Scott was strong there, hanging on to the ball. Two girls fighting her for it, but too much size and athleticism. They couldn't do it. Looking for the inbounds look. They get it to DuBose. DuBose loses control, and Can has that, has the ball there. Armstrong's got it working on sheer. Finds Can, nice pump fake in the lane, just short. Rebound to Brooklyn Brown. She tried to throw it off of somebody. I think they're going to call a foul on Scott. It's her second, team's first of the half, I believe. Yep. 27 25 with 5.59 to go here. Can open for three. That's Ashland just off the mark. Man, it looked good. I'm sitting right behind that one. But it's uh, Armstrong with her first rebound of the game. Oh, she's wide open. She'll take that. She can't find it either. Oh, bouncing around. It hit the rim three or four times. It's going to stay with the Lady Panthers. Wow. This is a long possession. They've had a couple of opportunities here. They're up two right now as the Lady Trojans off to a slow start on the offensive end again, just like they were in the first half. Gregory's got it. Harper Gregory working against Barnes. Gets in the lane, looking for Brown. Finds her on the back door cut. Wow, a couple of close calls there as far as taking care of the basketball. DuBose guarding 
Armstrong, she'll go to the lane, come back out. I think their best matchup, even though Barnes is such a great athlete, is to go to Harper Gregory on Destiny Barnes. Nice move. Armstrong gets a shot up, can't get it to go, and there's Barnes with the rebound. DuBose has it now. Going the other way quickly. Isom's going to drive. Lots of contact. They're going to call the block on Ashland Cam. Probably a good call on that one. Not set. And that will give uh, Peyton Isom a couple of free throws to try to tie this thing up. Knocks down the first. She hit two of three in the first half on a three-point attempt that she was fouled on. Emerson Gregory checking in, Ashlyn Can checking out. Ooh, off the mark on that one. Brooklyn Can will come up with the rebound. Her sixth rebound of the game. 27-26 with five minutes to go here in this in the third quarter. Poked away by Scott, but Harper Gregory tracks, tracks it down. Dribb dribbling out top. Screen from Emerson Gregory. Tries to get it to Brooklyn Brown. They're going to call a foul on Isom reaching. She thought she had a chance to poke it away. She'll pick up her second team second of the half. 27-26 Lady Panthers without Sarah Clark in the lineup. Fantastic. They get it to Brooklyn Can Working on Nevaeh Raphael. She's checked into the game. Good take, Emerson Gregory to the basket. Boy, that pair is going to be something else in the future. I'm telling you, they're good right now, but look out. Emerson and uh, Harper Gregory are going to give people fits for years to come. Lana DeBose dribbling through traffic. Sheer left wing, they close out. She goes up, foul. I think they're going to call it on Harper Gregory as Sheer made a strong move to the basket. They're going to call it on 25, Emerson Gregory. Our second team's fourth already. We're only 335 into this, and there's already 14 fouls on this Lady Panther squad. Tons of fouls called here on that side. So Shearer knocks down her first free throw. She had kind of a bad year from the line, which is not like her. She's been over 80% in her last two seasons, and this season it's right around 50. Hasn't gotten to the line a lot and just has had a couple of bad trips to the line that's caused that. She'll knock down two there, which is what you'd expect. Armstrong's got it. Working on a double team. They both left her, though, and she gets all the way to the rim. Can't get it to go. Raphael's got it to ice him. And uh, Armstrong is able to battle the ball away from Raphael and ice him. And it went off ice him as she was trying to um, throw the ball back in bounds. It went out of bounds off her. 29-28, Lady Panthers. Des Bryant will check back into the ballgame. West Point Bank has five offices located in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Upton, Glendale, and West Point. Or find us online at westpointbank.com. Let us help make life simple at West Point Bank. Hometown banking made simple. Special thanks to our HCEC TV crew tonight. Joe Staten, Zoe Berry, Riley Bickett, John White, and Abby Carroll. Thanks to the students and to our producers uh, for bringing us the action tonight. They're doing a great job. So you can see the action in this critical 17th district matchup. 4-12 to go in the third. 29-28 Lady Panthers, not really what I expected to see tonight. Lady Trojans just have not made enough shots to put this team away. They find themselves down one middle of the third period. And without Sarah Clark in the lineup, you'd expect this North Harden squad to have an advantage. But again, this uh, Lady Panther squad doesn't know that. They're fighting for their district lives here, wanting to uh, have still a chance to take that number one seed. It's going to require a win. Uh, going to uh, two and three, three losses is probably not going to get it done. Could, but probably not. And Brooklyn can. Working the pivot foot like crazy. Finds Denise Armstrong. Armstrong finds Can. She's now driving. Oh, Gregory's open. Harper Gregory, a little short that time. Couldn't get uh, everything into it, but she's got her own rebound. Oh, finds Brooklyn Brown wide open underneath. Wow. Defense lost Brooklyn Brown. Three on the way, no good. And Brooklyn Brown's got a rebound there. Quickly the other direction. Oh, she could have found Harper Gregory for an easy bucket. Takes herself, couldn't get it to go. 
Scott had the rebound, but Gregory ties her up. And the uh, alternating possession will go to the Lady Pan I'm sorry, to the Lady Trojans. Harper Gregory had a fantastic year last season, but um, she has matured so much and size, strength, and ability to move. Uh, so slick. And if they could have got her the ball there, she had an easy look. Bryant on the drive, double team, looking for someone, but no one there. This E-Town defense can be suffocating. We saw that when they played uh, Central Harden early in the season. Central Harden scored 14 points in the whole game. That's 31-28 Lady Panthers right now, 2.56 to go in this third quarter. And um, they are seeing how suffocating that defense can be. Trying to get it back. Raphael, nice hands, tips it away and creates a turnover. Gets it to Shear. Shear working it up the floor, finds Isom. Bryant was open in the corner, but there it goes. Isom can't get it to go. Block on Harper Gregory. That is her second. Team's fifth. As Isom was getting to the basket, she'll have two free throws coming. And the foul issues could become a problem for this lady. Panther squad. Brooklyn Brown with three. A lot of other with two. I think uh, Janice Armstrong has three as well. So some foul trouble here for this Lady Panther squad. Isom makes the first and the second. And was just run over by Emerson Gregory on the box out. No call. 31-30. Brown's got it. Trying to get it back out top. It was tipped and knocked out of bounds off the Lady Trojans. So she was under the basket looking to go back outside to the three-point arc where someone was open. Uh, Coach Isom wants a timeout. He wants a full. And so he'll get it, and the Lady Trojans will come and talk it over as the Lady Panthers will have possession. This is an HCEC TV student production, the Division of Hardin County Schools. Special thanks to our live sports coverage sponsors, Brandenburg Telecom, Physical Therapy Associates, Waddell's Auto and Scrap Metal Recycling, etownapartments.com, West Point Bank, and Etown Exterminating. Tune in weekly for all local HCEC TV programs airing on Brandenburg Telecom and Comcast Cable's Channel 2 and Spectrum Channel 184, all HCEC TV programs on the HCEC TV YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel today to get your local community sports and events. Special thanks to our HCEC TV crew, Joe Staten, John White, Zoe Berry, Riley Bickett, and Abby Carroll. We'd also like to thank NFHS, the National Federation of High School Sports, and its support in providing live streaming service. Contact NFHS.com to subscribe today. So uh, Coach Ison delivers a rousing speech, and uh, the fans all around fired up. The girls coming out of the huddle fired up. They're down one right now with 2.25 to go in the third. Plenty of time. This thing could go any direction. Um, we might see one go all the way down to the wire. We might see either team blow the other out. We just, you just don't know right here. The way this thing has gone, it's been back and forth. I would bet on the first choice of a tight finish. Emerson Gregory showing some incredible athleticism there as well. Good move. Can back out front. Can going to drive off the glass. Can't get it to go. Falls hard. They're going to call a foul on number 12. That's Nevaeh Raphael, her first. Team's third of the half. 2.14 to go, and they say it's on the floor before the shot. So Lady Panthers ball here. Can makes a nice cut to get the ball back. Armstrong working against Isom. Janice on the drive over the top of the double team. Can't get it. Scott fighting for the board. She's got it ahead now. Isom's got it in the lane. Can't get it to go. They're going to call a foul there as Isom was trying to get there. Calling it on number three, Brooklyn Can. And uh, Coach Sweeney doesn't like it. Thought maybe there was a hell ball situation there. Go, 
31-30. Ison misses the first. The second can tie it up. And she's struggling from line, which isn't normally true. And Nevaeh Raphael trying to go over the top to get it. They're going to call her for the foul. That's her second. Team's fourth. So Can will bring it up as Raphael gave some token pressure guarding Armstrong in the full court. It's a man look from Isom's Lady Trojans. Brooklyn Brown guarded by Shear. Raphael on Armstrong. Good defense. Hands up and moving her feet, looking good. Gregory on the drive on Bryant off the glass, can't get it to go. There's Bryant with the rebound. She's going to go the other way, loses it as Armstrong's all over her. It's her seventh rebound. Nice pass to Raphael and the finish for Nevea Raphael. Good look, and now the Lady Trojans in front, 32-31. A little bit of fire here from this Lady Trojans squad, and that's a should be a block. They called a charge on Armstrong, her fourth. That changes the game. I don't like that call a bit. Bryant was still in holding his, her position, but it was hip contact. And any time it's not square, there's no way that call can go that direction. Good job getting the charge call there. And now Armstrong with four fouls. That's a problem. And Mabry Cochran will check in. Shear from the baseline can't get it to go. There's a rebound from Brooklyn Brown. They're going to call a foul on Shear, scrapping for the ball. It's her first, team's fifth. Armstrong checks out. Mabry Cocker, number 10, will check in. Again, this is uh, a lot of good young talent on this Eat Town roster that's uh, really showing itself tonight. But, man, you need Janice Armstrong on the floor in this kind of a ball game. It's 32-31, Lady Trojans. Emerson Gregory going baseline, great move. Gets it to Harper, who's going to go in the lane. Lefty off the glass, no good. Emerson with the rebound. Wow, she's playing good. What is it with these Gregory kids? All right, they've gone to the 1-2-2 zone look. I don't know if that's what he's calling or he's calling it a 3-2 look. But the Lady uh, Trojans are in a zone look now. Extending and trapping out front. Nice backdoor cut from Emerson Gregory. Wow, another call I would question there. Gregory being really aggressive. you got to like that. But Destiny Scott just hands up defending that. You've got to be allowed to defend in the post. I'm a little bit biased. My daughter, Katie Gray, Central Harden, is a post player. And I see too many times where she's just holding her ground and they call a foul. I, I just I don't like it, and Destiny Scott was doing the same there. Again, that's what you do, though. You take it right into somebody's body, and the offense gets the call more than the defense. And so uh, Emerson Gregory knocks down the first and made a good play to get into the body of the post player. You get that call most of the time. That one's off. Des Bryant will get the rebound. She's only got three points. She averaged 16, so Des Bryant a little off tonight. There's Isom, three on the way, off the mark. Rebound Emerson Gregory. She's getting more comfortable. She hasn't played a ton of varsity action. One second, fired up, off the backboard. No good from Brooklyn Brown. And we go into the fourth quarter. Tie game, 32-32. And, uh, boy, it comes down to who can execute late, who maybe can just knock down a couple of shots as the Lady Trojans' shot-making has not been great here in this ball game. It's been a difficult night from the floor for this squad. Just can't find the mark. Uh, Lady uh, Panthers struggling as well, but certainly uh, they have been able to hang around, and we've got ourselves a tie ball game. here in the fourth quarter to start the fourth quarter off. This is a Hardin County Education and Community Television student production. HCC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools Live Channel 1 program is sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all of your telecommunications needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results with locations in Elizabethtown, Hodgenville, Radcliffe, and South Louisville. Online at physicaltherapyky.com. eTownApartments.com by Mark Harris Construction. Take a virtual tour today at eTownApartments.com. For those who are serving our country in the military, a discount is available. eTown Apartments, 
It's a family-owned and operated management service with over 30 years of combined experience. Lady Panthers have the ball to start the fourth. Brooklyn Can will set for the Lady Trojans. We've got Nevaeh Raphael, Destiny Barnes, Des Bryant, Ella Shear, and Peyton Isom. Mabry Cochran still on the floor, not taking a risk of putting Armstrong back in. Harper Gregory has it. Nobody open to get the ball to. Oh, Cochran moving as uh, Gregory trying to pass the ball. Oh, the feet got clipped up together, and Bryant loses it. Off the glass, Gregory with the left hand. Harper this time. She now has 16 points on the ball game. And for her E-Town squad, she has dominated this ball game. Isom back to Shearer in the corner. Shearer's going to come back to the top. Raphael out top. Back to Shearer. They're moving the ball around against the zone here. Knocked away by Gregory, but Barnes will track it down. Bryant in the lane. Oh, great look to Raphael. Navea Raphael with the bucket. That'll tie it up at 34. 6.56 to go here in the game. How long will Coach Sweeney hold Armstrong on the bench? Oh, can a great move on Raphael on the spin. Bucket and a foul. Raphael called for the foul, her third. Team seventh. Both teams are in the bonus right now. DeBose will check in. Raphael will check out. Can will go to the line after knocking that one down. She's got seven points looking to complete the three-point play. 37-34. Lady Panthers in front. 6.46 to go here. Bryant's got it. Shearer looking for it outside the line there. Good rebound from Isom. Can't get it to go. Just nothing falling for this squad. Ball loose. Bryant's going to run it down. Des Bryant's got it for the Lady Trojans. Shear now. Guarded by Cochran out front. This is a zone look. Isom open. Three is good. They had to knock one down eventually, and there it was. Timeout. The Lady Trojans. Full timeout from the Lady Trojans here. It's a tie game, 37-37 with 6.16 to go here. Waddell's Auto and Scrap Metal Recycling is a family-owned business with competitive prices, pickup service, and a friendly staff available for your recycling needs. Located in Elizabethtown on 31W, just south of exit 91 on Interstate 65. Call 270-982-7206 to talk to someone about scrapping metal and recycling. Econ Exterminating is a locally-owned family-run pest control company and has been serving Hardin, Mead, Grayson, and Nelson counties in the surrounding areas of Kentucky since 1976. Whatever your pest control issues are, termites, spiders, crickets, general pests, even moles, their team has the knowledge, skill, and training to safely and effectively eliminate the problem. Call 270-737-6900 or go online at mugabug.com. That's two Gs, M-U-G-G-A-B-U-G.com. West Point Bank has five offices located in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Upton, Glendale, and West Point, or find us online at westpointbank.com. Let us help make life simpler. West Point Bank, hometown banking made simple. Again, 616 to go. 37-37 is the score. And a little token pressure with Alana DuBose, but Brooklyn Cam will walk it up. Again, I think the longer this thing's go, this goes and the Panthers are still in there, they don't have to be in a hurry. They do not have to be in a hurry. Harper Gregory finds Brooklyn Brown in the lane. Layup falls in Brooklyn Brown. She's got four points to go with a rebound. Again, her performance hampered by early foul trouble. Shear open for three from the left corner. Oh, man, in and out. It looked good all the way. Brown's got the rebound. Hands got it now. Harper Gregory, corner three. Boy, that rattled in and out to so two three-point attempts. They're going to call a foul on Ella Shear. I think she's had her hands up. I don't know about that. Going to call her with a push, maybe with the hip. So uh, Shear picks up her second. Team's eighth of the half. And it's Harper Gregory at the line to shoot a pair. First one is off. 
Again, the Lady Panthers are up to 39-37 with 5.29 to go, trying to extend the lead from the line here. Again, it's Mabry, Cochran, Brooklyn Brown, Brooklyn Can, Ashland Can, and Harper Gregory on the floor for the Lady Panthers. She misses a pair. Good block out by Alana DuBose to get that rebound. Bryant in the post. She's going to step through. Oh, wow, they called a jump ball on that. It'll stay with the Lady Trojans. Good pass inside to Scott. Just can't quite get it to go. Rebound Ashland can. Five minutes now, 39-37, Lady Panthers in front. Gregory in the corner working on Brian. Brian's not giving up baseline that time. Nice job poking it off of Gregory. Good play by Des Bryant. Goes back to the Lady Trojans. Isom's working on Cochran here. It's a zone 2-3 look. Really trying to pay a lot of attention to Destiny Scott inside there. They're going to call a charge on Peyton Isom. She kind of extended her right arm on the left-hand dribble to push off. It's her third foul. Thirty-nine, thirty-seven. Again, all four of the quarters have started slowly as far as scoring. There's been a little bit more scoring here in the fourth to start it, but not super slick offensively. Nice dish. A great defense by Destiny Scott as Harper Gregory loses it. Dubose in the corner had some space but lost her balance. And now the uh, Lady Panthers have the numbers. Can is open for three in the corner. It's good, Brooklyn Can. She's got 11 points to go with her six rebounds. Bryant's got 42-37. It's a five-point game now. Isom's got a three lined up. Man, in and out. And it's Armstrong with the rebound. 3.52 to go, a five-point game. And Lady Trojans just struggling to find the basket tonight. Ashlyn Cann's got it. No one guarding. She's going to drive across. Going to get it back to Armstrong. No hurry here. Up five. Coach Sweeney is motioning, spread out the offense. We do not need to uh, attack the basket right away with a five-point advantage. Gregory in the corner. She pump fakes, gets against Bryant. High, can't get it to go. Wow, I thought they'd call a foul on Gregory there, but no foul call. Bryant's going to push it up the floor. She's going to go all the way to the rim. Basket and the foul. An opportunity for a three-point play from Des Bryant. So Brooklyn Brown picks up her fourth foul of the game for Brown and Armstrong both have four fouls. We got 3.13 to go. It's a three-point game. Lady Panthers in front. Bryant will have one free throw to complete the three-point play. And it's good. So Bryant will knock that one down as well. She's got six points to go with her nine rebounds. Excuse me, eight rebounds. A little bit of pressure from Coach Isom's group here. Long one on the way, no good. Des Bryant, the rebound, they're pushing it ahead. They got Destiny Scott out in front, knocked away by Brooklyn Brown, but she uh, couldn't handle it and traveled. So turned back over to the Lady Panthers. And now it's a timeout from Coach Sweeney on the other end. 42 to 40 with 2.55 to go here. Lady Panthers in front. This is an HCEC TV student production, a division of Hardin County Schools. Special thanks to our live sports coverage sponsors, Brandenburg Telecom, Physical Therapy Associates, 
Uh, Wado Auto and Scrap Metal Recycling, eTownApartments.com, West Point Bank, and eTown Exterminating. Special thanks to our HCEC TV crew, Joe State and Zoe Berry, Riley Bickett, John White, and Abby Carroll. Well, on the uh, out in Hardensburg, the Lady Bruins up 34 to 30 on Brett County after the third quarter. So that's a great ball game out in Hardensburg for another one of our Hardin County schools playing this evening. Wow, this one is an exciting ball game here. The scores have been Isom and Gregory for the two teams. Again, Isom with 20 points. I've got it for 20. And I've got uh, Gregory for 16. Gregory with five rebounds to go with those points. Lady Panthers have it. A little bit of full court pressure here from the Lady Trojans. Looks like a 2-2-1 two, two, look. Trapping now. They're going to run and jump a little bit. Harper Gregory passed up the shot up two with 2.40 to go. They don't want to lose their aggressiveness. They're not going to hold this thing for two minutes and 40 seconds. Can all the way to the rim, can't get it to go. There's Destiny Scott High for the rebound. She's got six rebounds. And they lose it out of bounds. Turn back over. Scott's got five points and six boards. 2.29 remains. Can in the post, poked away by Bryant, tied up by Raphael. Lady Panthers. Lady Panthers will keep possession, but that will turn the arrow back to the Lady Trojans. Ooh, this is a fun one, just like the first one where the Lady Trojans came out on top by just a couple. Stolen away by Isom, kind of a lazy inbound pass from Armstrong. She's two on one here, two on two. Uh, a little strong, she went with the Euro step in left hand. Could not get it to go, could have dished to Shear, but wanted to finish at the rim herself, couldn't get it. Armstrong now with it, 42-42, 07 to go here. Double team on Can, but Bryant falls. People are open. Can for three from the corner. Wow, that could have sewed it up there, but just off the mark. Brown trying to take it from Shear, tied up. It's going to be Lady Trojans ball on the alternating possession. This one is getting scrappy. Cochran's going to check in. Let's see who she's going to get. She's going to get uh, Janice Armstrong. And before, Molly Durbin will also check into the lineup. Her first action of the night here late in the game. Again, they're wanting to go offense for defense, and this is their defensive look. Uh, Armstrong, they need on the floor on the offensive end. They get it. Oh, Shearer's open for three. That one's good. Ella Shearer just gives the Trojans the lead. Struggling all game, but hit it when it counts. They need buckets. They're up one now. And uh, Coach Sweeney's going to call a timeout as the full court pressure is causing some trouble for the Lady Panthers. Full 43-42. Lady Trojans in front as Ella Shear now has eight points on the ball game, a couple of threes. She struggled in the first half to get going there, but she's knocked down a three now as well as a couple of free throws. What a ball game. Again, it's a miss and make ball game when it's this close. Brooklyn can had one rattle out. Ellis Shearer has one go through. So that's the difference right now is just a, a make here or a make there. And that's what's gonna, what it's going to come down to. I believe the next time that the uh, Panthers get fouled, they'll shoot the double bonus. The next time... Um, it'll be two more fouls. There's 18 fouls on the Panthers, so Lady Trojans in the bonus right now. That could be important. Someone getting to the line and trying to make a couple of free throws.
Tan gets it inbounds. Armstrong and, and Brown are back in for the offensive substitution. There's Can driving in the lane with a floater just short. Shearer has the rebound. She's double teamed, trying to get it out of there. Timeout call by Coach Isom, so they will have possession after the Shearer rebound. So 1.15 on the clock. Defensive look in for the Lady Panthers now with Cochran and Durbin. 2-2-1, two, two, full court pressure here. The Can girls at half court. And Harper Gregory back deep. Ooh, Cochran knocked it away. And Des Bryant is inbound. And you got Scott and Isom trying to work to get the ball. Isom has it. She'll work against Cochran. Durbin trying to come up and trap. Not a lot of help there. Gets it to the middle to Bryant. Great job by Isom and Bryant to break that pressure. Coach Isom very upset. There's no hurry when you're ahead in this ball game on the offensive end. Bryant drove and tried to dish off to Scott and just wasn't there. And the Lady uh, Panthers will have the ball. Ooh, long pass, and Armstrong runs it down. They're down one in their own building. We'll see if they can have some magic in their own building like the Trojans did, and they do as Armstrong gets her sixth point on a tough one. There's Bryant. She'll pull it back out. She finds Isom. Sheer three from the corner. Shear's got another one. Wow. Ella Shear knocking down two critical buckets. They're up two with 34 seconds to go, 46 44. Lady Panthers don't need three. And uh, Coach Sweeney wants a timeout to talk it over. This possession critical now, down two with 29 seconds. They're probably only going to have a couple more possessions, and they may be having to look to foul soon. Ooh, this is a great ball game. So now you got to talk about what are your options if you're Coach Sweeney. You've got a lot of them, actually. I know Sarah Clark would be a key option, but not in the lineup tonight with the knee injury. I got to say, you know, Brooklyn Can is the senior, but I'm liking Harper Gregory in this situation. She's the hot hand. She scored 16 points on the night. Nothing here in the fourth quarter. Uh, she was effective in, I'm sorry, she had one basket here in the fourth quarter, uh, five points in the third quarter. So uh, if you can get Harper isolated and going to that left hand, her size and length against the defenders she'll be guarded by gives her an opportunity to get the ball off in traffic in the lane. So we'll see what they end up with. If they can get an open look for Brooklyn Can, that's option one. I like Harper Gregory. Now, she's guarded by Destiny Scott right now. Great move by Coach Isom. I don't see her being able to shoot over Destiny Scott as easily as she would have any of the other players can. She's got a three from the corner. Wow, she knocked it down. They left her. She inbounds, got it back. Great play call from Coach Sweeney. Oh, Isom's open. She finds Shear in the corner again. Shear's launch, and that one's short. Not on the mark. Bryant rebound. Back up. No. No time left. It's over. No, they called a foul. Called a foul on Shear there as Brooklyn can knocks down the humongous three. They did not guard that out of bounds well at all. As can passed it in, cut to the corner. No one ran with her. She was all by herself. And then uh, Des Bryant tried to come off and get to her too late. Uh, open look for the best three-point shooter for this team. And can 
who was fouled by Shearer, misses the first. Again, it's a one-point game. They put 10 seconds back on the clock. The clock ran out, but I think they were saying the foul had occurred well earlier. So plenty of time. I thought this thing was pretty well over, pretty well academic, but it's not. And the uh, Lady Trojans will get a shot. Let's see if Coach Ison will call a timeout off the rebound here. They've lost it out of bounds. The two Trojans fought for it, DuBose and uh, Bryant, and it goes out of bounds off of them. Timeout, Lady Panthers. They have the inbounds here. We'll see if the Lady Trojans can do a better job against the inbounds. Again, they'll probably have to foul if they can't create a turnover. I'm sure they'll be really working hard against this inbounds look from, from on the baseline. Wow, what an exciting game. We were wondering how this thing would play out. And uh, big three-point shots by the three-point shooters. Ella Shearer knocking down a couple here in the last couple minutes. Then Brooklyn can matching that with a three-point bucket of her own. She has two of those here in the second half late. So the two three-point bombers for these squads kind of coming up late. All right, here we go. They've got DuBose on Gregory. And again, they're not going to be looking to shoot the Lady Panthers, but um, they go over the top to Can Bryant trying to get it away from her. They call a foul quickly, so good play by Bryant. Brown is going to check in for the Lady Panthers here in a minute. There'll be two because they're in the double bonus right now. First one is off, so Brown, or excuse me, Can struggling from the line. Seven and a half seconds to go. Can at the line for one more. 47 46, Lady Panthers in front. Lady Trojans need the basketball. It's made, it's a two point game. Isom having trouble getting it back to Bryant, who will push. She's got Shear in the corner. Shear's open for three. Off the mark, a little short. Scott with the rebound. Could not go up with it. The Lady Panthers will hold on. And they will charge the floor. What a gutsy performance for this Lady Panther squad without their star to get that victory. Wow, what a ball game. 48-46. Lady Panthers defending a home floor. And that's really what's happened here is that the uh, Lady Trojans defended home floor. And now the Lady Panthers have defended home floor. District tournament is at John Harden, so uh, it's going to continue to be interesting. And uh, this Lady Panther squad was so scrappy, hit big shots when they needed to. And uh, Lady Trojans will walk out with a loss, their first in the district this year. They'll go to 3-1 and one in district play, 10-6 and six overall. Uh, the Lady Panthers, again, who've had such a tough season, I could probably call it disappointing, at 6-10. and 10, and now, you know, losing Sarah Clark. And here they come, winning a big ball game. And, uh, wow, uh, hard, to, uh, hard to sum that up, hard to um, put that into words. Uh, heartbreaking loss for the Lady Trojans. Exhilarating victory for the Lady Panthers. And um, can't say enough. Teams did tonight, just really battling and scrapping struggling to shoot the basketball tonight, and that's not usually a problem for the Lady Trojans. They are the best shooting team in this district, one of the top shooting teams in the region, and um, it's uh, uh, in a, just an off night shooting the basketball, and that happens a lot of times in these circumstances, and it, it, you know, it determines ball games. You've got to make shots. They were unable to do that tonight. I don't want to give one more last shout-out uh, to our HCEC TV crew, Joe Staten, John White producing, uh, Zoe Berry, Abby Carroll, and Riley Bickett. Thanks to you guys for uh, being here tonight to uh, bring us this action. I'm Paul Gray. Good night, everybody.